Hey guys, my name is Brad of Brave the Woods, and today I want to teach you about the symmetry tool within the Procreate app. It's a little hidden gem of a tool, it's really helpful, and it's a whole lot of fun. So, let's learn about it. Alright, first things first, let's figure out where the symmetry tool lives, because it feels like it's a little buried within the Procreate app, and I don't think that's just me trying to rationalize why I couldn't find it for so long. <laughs> But uh, I've, hopefully there's some of you out there being like, yeah, I didn't know that existed. All right, well, I'm going to show you and we're all going to learn together. So on the top left-hand corner, you'll see this little wrench icon. That's your actions tab. You click on it and then you get the, these options here. You click on canvas and then turn on your drawing guides. Now this is a sweet little tool. It's not just the symmetry tool, but there's a lot of other ones. If you get, click on edit drawing guides, You'll see there's a bunch of other tools there with you. You have your 2D grid, you have your isometric views, you have your perspective, and your symmetry, which is, of course, the one we're going to focus on in this video. But uh, what's neat about this is once you open up symmetry, you even have more options. So you have vertical, horizontal, quadrant, and radial. And let's take a look at what those do. Oh, but first, you see this little line up here? It looks like a decorative little branded element for Procreate. It's actually a functional color slide. So you go and move that around and you'll be able to change the color of your guides. So if you have a light background, you can put the dark one on and vice versa. Let's do blue. Done. Oh, I want to start on a different one. I don't want to do this one first. Let's start vertical first. We'll go down left to right. So on the vertical one, this is what it looks like. It's going to mirror it from left to right or right to left, whatever. Whatever side you do, it's going to mirror it. And so let's draw like a little leaf. Not a maple leaf. What is this? Oak leaf? Maybe an oak tree? I may get a lot of people who are very specific about their, their leaves. You know, let me know in the comments what, what kind of leaf this is. I feel like it's a my guess is oak. I'm gonna stick with oak. Uh, and then what's really cool, all of a sudden, you know, you see how it's mirrored here. You can make this little thing real quick. And there you go, you have an instant leaf, it feels like. You have to do half the work, which is super, super cool. And you look over at your layers, you can see that it says assisted, meaning it's a doing an assisted drawing, whether that's perspective or whatever it is. We know that we're on symmetry. Uh, you can turn that off at any point. You just tap on it, turn it back on, turn it off. And if you turn it off, it still keeps those settings saved. So if I wanted to add like a cool little border to this, just on one side, like a little, little line work on the side, it's obviously not going to keep that that symmetry going until I hit back on the drawing assist, and then if I did it on this side, you'll see it pop up again. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward. Or the other way you can do that too is just add another layer, and it won't copy that unless you slid this over and hit duplicate. Um, so we're just gonna be able to use this and on a whole different layer, and you can do whatever else you want. Okay, I'm gonna clear this. Well, should I clear it or delete it? I'll just delete it, and we'll. We'll start this one over. So, okay, let's see. Now we have the, if we go back to our edit drawing guide, you can move that back to horizontal. And then you can see, let's draw a, hmm, let's draw a fish. This might be a really ugly fish. There's not too many super symmetrical fishes out there, I don't feel like. What about the, at least any real good looking ones? Am I wrong? I feel like a flounder. <laughs> Those are pretty ugly fishes though. So let's do that. Okay. So you fill this guy up and then you can quickly add some some fins, some gills, some little things back there. And then if I wanted to add anything else like eyes and all that fun stuff, if it's a flounder, I guess I'd have funky eyes like that. But this is not. So again, I can change that to take off the drying assist or I can add another layer. I can add this. What is this? A dorsal fin? top fin, the big fin, and then his eyeball, little smiley face, he's a happy fish, some scales, so some of that stuff you want asymmetrical, so uh, you can turn that on and off, which is really helpful. Okay, so those are pretty straightforward, and then it gets even more fun. The more uh, sections you bust out, the, the more intricate the design looks immediately when you make a mark, which I love. So you go to quadrant, so some of you out there are going to want to use this for drawing like flowers or mandalas or other types of cool things. Maybe snowflakes. This one I actually thought was kind of fun because you can do a fancy labels, which is kind of cool. Things that would take you a little while to draw or you'd have to reflect and mirror. You can drag your color and drop it in. 
And if you want to get get even <coughs> get, and if you want to get even more intricate, doesn't take that long just to add another line in here. Add that little inline, and then if you want to look how quickly you can add little details. Super cool. Oh, that's kind of ugly right there, but we'll. Doesn't matter. Pretty neat, huh? Just gonna add another line in there. Okay, if I if I keep going, it'll just it'll get more and more intricate. And it's just super fun to do. So that's your quadrants. And when you're doing this as well, remember you can turn off the drawing guide, so I can continue drawing right without having to see that guide there. It just turns off your guide, hides it for you, so that if you do want to, you know, see what your drawing looks like without them. That's how you do it. And you can, and like I said, you could draw with it. So I'm going to keep that drawing guide on just for the sake of this video. And uh, let's see, let's go back to edit drawing guide and we're going to go to radial now. I'm going to clear this. Let's go to blue. Yeah, we'll go to blue. And then we can do things on this one. So there's even more, look at this, there's even more lines. So it's real crazy, real fast, real detailed and complex, which is a lot of fun. So you can do things like a fun um, snowflake, probably, huh? Probably do a quick snowflake. Well, that's kind of cool. It already doubled it. And then we can add some little bits there. It's pretty cool looking. Wait, let's do that. Yeah, so you can do really fun. I also thought you can do a really mean, quick spider web. Who doesn't want to do a spider web faster than you typically do it? Pretty cool. But yeah, I, you could, I, could, I could play around with this forever, but I just wanted to show you that there's all these different options. And the one thing here on, 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 on all these actually, you have like rotational symmetry. So if I clear this, Let's go on your edit drawing guide. You also have this little button here, rotational symmetry, that I thought was pretty cool. Oh, let me turn that back. I think I hit that color, yeah. Let's go grab another color, let's do like a green color. So now when I'm drawing here, look at that. It only draws it on one side, it doesn't reflect it between the two. So I'll draw it really quick before I show you any more. You see how it's all directional? So it'll rotate it that way. Now, if I was to do turn that rotational symmetry off. If I do that same arrow, you'll see it starts reflecting between those. So that, that gets turned off when you do the other way and it, it kind of gives you some really different fun results. So now you can do more of like a, so that's with the rotational symmetry off, but let's turn it back on and watch what it does now. You can do some cool spiral patterns but uh, yeah, that, that yields some pretty cool results that you can sit there and play with for hours, I feel like. As for a really practical application of this tool in an illustration setting for myself, I used it on this Tiger just to save me so much time. It was, it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. You know, when you get in all the details with the, with the Tiger stripes and everything, it seemed a little overwhelming until I used this tool where I could just drop in some extra, I could drop in all the, the Tiger's marks and not have to stress out about getting it perfect on the other side as well. Or splitting the image and then mirroring it afterwards. Just doing it while I was illustrating helped me see ahead of time like how this was going to turn out. And made my process that much quicker. Got some extra stripes up here. And then again, if I wanted to take off the symmetry tool... I could at any point just add another layer. If you don't want to add another layer, you can just turn off that symmetry tool. Uh, when I say symmetry, I mean turn off the assisted, just turn that off. Uh, but I'll go back and start on another layer and then add maybe things just like the highlights on the eyes, just so that they aren't completely mirrored. But uh, yeah, that, that's how I would use it in an actual you know, illustration setting. And that's the symmetry tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you're now feeling more inspired to play around within the Procreate app itself. There's so many more powerful tools in there for you to explore. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here, 
we'd love to have you stick around. We're doing lots and lots of videos like these every single week, so please join us, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.